The Australian Lot Feeders Association said farewell to two industry stalwarts here at BFEX this week, saying goodbye to Sandy McConaughey from Hopkins River Beef at Dunkeld in Victoria, who stands down after 15 years on the council, and Malcolm Foster, who stands down after 20 years on the council. I caught up with Sandy and Malcolm here at BFEX to hear what they had to say about the industry. In my opinion, it's been the National Feedlot Accreditation Scheme. We were in a situation similar to what the live export industry finds itself in, where government was saying, we're going to have to regulate this industry, it's, it's out of control. And so we, we took it on ourselves to develop our own quality assurance program, third party audited, run by most of the people who sit around the governing table of government, government people, the majority of the people that are, that are running the program. And, and through that, we've been able to get ourselves in a situation where government now trusts us, and if they want something done in the field industry, they come to us and say, would you, would you be able to incorporate this into our affairs, as opposed to passing regulations and you will do that. Yeah, I could add, I, you know, I think it's, it's absolutely right, and I think it, what it's done, it showed a huge amount of innovation by the architects of the NFAS program, which was the first agricultural quality assurance program, the first and the only one that's lasted and endured, and it's very much recognised as Malcolm said. We're seeing social media now coming into play. As you guys, you're in the media, it's social media becoming a big part. And I think NFAS really does give the industry something that it can defend. But it's got it out there. So once you've got something out there, you can defend that. If someone else puts something out there, it's pretty hard to defend that. Then you've got then you've got to go and try and try and, you know, find ways to, to counter something. Financially, I think this industry's had the worst five years in its history. It started with the high grain, the sudden spike in international grain prices in 2000, end of 2007, yep. and it's all just been one thing after another. Was that was that was followed by the global financial crisis? Yep. World demand for beef went down. Then we had the breaking of the drought. Cattle prices went up, and, and producers didn't want to turn cattle off to feedlots. They wanted to hold them naturally themselves, put weight on them. And then finally, we've got the Australian dollar against the US dollar our major competitor. So it's just been bang, 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 bang. But I just think what you've seen here in the last couple of days just shows you how resilient this industry is to handle that five years. We've seen the booms though, didn't we, when the, when the US got BNC and yes. out of Japan yeah. and, and, and that part.